from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's an every cut of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. You know, um, people don't just listen to us on the radio. They listen to us uh, on the Internet. Many people who cannot hear our show any other way listen to our live stream by going to blowmeuptom.com. I recently found out that in the entire CBS chain, our L.A. station, 97.1 KLSX, has the second most number of listener minutes of any radio station in the CBS chain. 97.1. It's because of jingles like that, for example. Second most in the entire CBS chain, which would make it probably one of the most listened to online radio stations in the world. And we know that people are all around the world, and many of them live in cities where the show used to be on the air or the show has never been on the air. Because, uh, let's face it, there are people listening out there right now who... uh, who I can't get the show any other way. They can't get it any other way. Well, you know, times are changing. I spent 13 years with uh, the Westwood One Radio Network, and we went through years where you had these uh, little dictator uh, program directors in small towns would go, you show it never work here. It would never work here. And I'm not putting it on because I don't think people in this community need to hear your kind of crap. And and that's going by the boards now, because now between podcasting and online streaming, there's no little dictators out there anymore saying people can't hear any particular show. Just about every show there is, is available on the Internet. Just about every show there is. Now, again, if you're not listening to our show on the Internet or through a podcast, you can find out all about it by going to blowmeuptom.com. The show will always be available to you, even if you're in a city, a state, or a country that doesn't have our show on a local radio station. In fact, I know uh, for a fact there are many people who have only heard our show on the Internet. Uh, They heard about it from a friend or what have you, and many of them uh, end up calling their local station and saying, why isn't this show on the air where we live? And by the way, if you are listening online, we highly recommend you call your local radio station or stations and tell them you want to hear this show. Absolutely. Let them know you want to hear it. But many of you only can hear the show online or on a podcast Now, of course, uh, nobody uh, will hear me saying this right now if they're listening on a podcast, because podcasts, by their nature, are recorded. So uh, there's no podcast listeners, per se, hearing my words. And if they are hearing them, they're hearing them, uh, you know, the next day or a couple of days later. And therefore, it's too late for them to call in about this. But if you are listening to us online, anywhere in the world, here is the international phone number. You can call this number from anywhere on planet Earth. Okay? Get ready. It's 323-520-6211. That's the number. And during this hour of the program, I want to talk to people who only listen to us online. All right? So if you live in a place where the show is on the radio, sit back and listen. Don't call in because we can talk to you every day. There's people out there who go to the extra trouble of, you know, logging on to the website 
at clicking on the Listen Now button and then listening on their computer. Some of them are in offices. Some of them are at home. We have heard from people who listen to us in Australia, where the show is on in Morning Drive, by the way. In Australia. That's right. We have heard from people in Iraq and Afghanistan who are in the military. We've heard from people in Japan who are away on business. We have heard from people in Taiwan. Plus, of course, Canada and Mexico. We got that one guy, you're right, Dean, that one guy in Belgium who keeps uh, writing to us. The show is on, uh, you know, primarily after midnight in Belgium. And uh, I just know there are so many people out there who just listen to our show online. Um, I'm, I'm curious how you found the show. I'm curious if you've gotten other people to listen. I'm curious if you've ever called a radio station and said, why can't we hear this show locally? So if you're one of those people and you are, well, first of all, our number here is 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. But if you're calling from any country outside the United States, the 800 number may not work. So if you're calling internationally, you can call this number, 323-520-6211. Now give it again, 323-520-6211. I want to talk to the people who listen to our show online. I just want to find out what that's all about. Tom Likas. one 800 800 tom I hope that you're writing down all these hours that you're spending on the radio, because these are public and community service hours, sir. You are doing a community service. You are spouting the truth and telling these dumb people that I see all day long to use condoms and stop procreating. Right. You are doing community service, sir. It's the Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. I want 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Okay. Here we go. We're going to talk to people listening in places where they can't hear our show on the radio using the online stream. Okay? So that's you. Uh, our number domestically in the United States, 1-800-5800-TOM. If you're in the... 50 United States or any place where 800 numbers of the United States works, work. Uh, and then, uh, of course, if you are not in the United States or a place where you can dial one of our toll-free 800 numbers, I know they have 800 numbers in other countries, but they're like 0800 or their other configurations, uh, just dial us at 323-520-6211, 323-520-6211. Here we go. Andrew is calling from Kenya on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Andrew? Hello? Yes. Are you in Kenya, Andrew? Yeah. Oh, hi. This is Tom. You know you're on the air, right? Okay, thanks, Tom. I just wanted to say hi to my friends in San Diego. Is that how you hey. found out about the show? Sorry? Is that how you found our show? Yeah, I came to San Diego to watch rugby, and then one of my friends introduced me to the show. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Are you a uh, practicer of Lycus 101 now that you're back in Kenya? Yep. Really? I listen all the time online. What time is the show on in Kenya? At night. Uh, about what, about 9 o'clock? No, like four in the morning. Oh, overnight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, have you got any other friends now in Kenya who are tuning in? I have like mm, maybe two friends. I listen with them. And uh, have you tried our uh, practice? Uh, our uh, uh, like us one on one practices. Have you been doing that in Kenya too? Doing what? You know, we teach that little course called Like Us One on One, where I teach guys how to get laid. Oh, yeah, I like that show, too. You like that? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Do you listen to any other radio shows online? Uh, no, just uh, the Tom Likes show. That's the one I listen to. That's online. it. 
Yeah. Wow. Now, if our show was on in Kenya, do you think it would do well? Yep. People come there. A lot of people come there to to see Tom. <laughs> Very nice. All right, yeah. Andrew. Well, yeah. thank you so much for checking in from Kenya. Thanks a lot. Okay. There he goes. Kenya checking in. The phone number, if you're not in the United States, 323-520-6211. That's 323-520-6211. If you're in the States, you can call us here at 800-1800-5800-TOM. That's the number. Let's say hello here to Steve. Steve is in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Canada, we are essentially banned from the airwaves. This is the only way you can hear us, right, Steve? That's right. That's right. We got you on the computer here with the wife listening to you. I, I listen to you whenever I, I pick you up through uh, the, whenever I'm in the States cruising. I listen to you once in a while, but she's actually the one that plays you all the time. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's, I didn't know if she would. I took it home. I said, hey, you should hear this Tom Likas. I said, you might get a kick out of him. She listened to it when she, of course, she's down in the States more than I am. She heard you and uh, more of the more so than any of the other talk radio people down there she absolutely uh, loves your show and and uh she listens to it all the time here on the computer now we could never get away with this in canada because we tried it in vancouver and uh it worked really well for about six months till the crtc caught on and then that was the end of us i think there's too many gays here or something I'm too many sure gays what. in canada really <laughs> i don't know pot smokers that's and i think that's bc you guys and that's just the flames like huh they're more red. Is that why they call red. the hockey team the Flames? Absolutely. Okay, just checking. Yeah, Jerome McGinley. <laughs> what? Yeah, Jerome McGinley. Don't Calgary even. Flames. You're joking. Come on, don't, don't, don't be saying that unless you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. He plays for the Flames. I know he plays for the Flames. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, what did you say? All right, never mind. We were just miscommunicating. I I no, I don't think that is. No, no. We I thought you were there. saying something about Jerome McGinley. That, uh, I thought you were revealing something about him that we didn't know. Absolutely not. I plead the fifth. Okay, just checking. That's an American term. By the way, it's uh, 518 here in Los Angeles. Is Mike Keenan still the coach? He is still the coach. Just I don't checking. know why, though. Yeah, well, because <laughs> he, he has the absolute same um, percentage, winning percentage as the coach we had last year that we got rid of. So. His goal is to be the Larry Brown of hockey. Absolutely. He is going to coach every team in the league. I'm going to put my wife on. She can talk to you. Oh, what's your wife's name? Her name's Christy. This might be Christy. refreshing for your show. Oh, might be. There you go, Tom. I hope so. Hi, Tom. Nice to talk to you. Hi, Christy. I have a little refreshment here. No refreshment. We just uh, we enjoy wa- uh, listening to your show. I like the cadence of your voice. And- oh, how, how did you find our show? i uh, traveling. Work sometimes in the states, so we picked you up when we were down there, and we've been addicted ever since. I love that. Now, 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 can you imagine a show like this being on in Canada? No, you're right. It would be pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> too polite and a little too nice up here. Uh, yeah, a little too politically correct. Well, your, your subject matter would be welcomed. But Do you yeah. know in Vancouver we actually got on the air on a station and we went we took the station from last to first in six months. I wouldn't doubt that. Then I when the wouldn't. then when the CRTC got involved, the station went from first to last after we got taken off the air. You're kidding. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thankful we can pick you up on the internet. That's for sure. That, they can't, they can't stop us on the internet yet. All right. That'll be the next thing they'll try to do. Have you told any friends about this show? Uh, you know what? A little bit. Um, we're a little behind the times up here sometimes in Canada. Most people still listen to the radio or, um, you know, XM. or. Yeah. A lot of people listen to AM radio in Canada. What's that all about? <laughs> There's not much AM. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, God forbid somebody say something about the French Canadians. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I won't go there. <laughs> well, you can go there because we're not on the radio in Canada. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, well, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of us that uh, would prefer not to speak French. It's a lovely, it's a lovely group of people, and they can keep their Quebec. By by the way, I've I've been to France. They don't think those people speak French anyway. No, they it's, they call it gutter French. I think. <laughs> See, you couldn't have this conversation on a station in Canada. Are you kidding me? They'd have to be thrown off the air. 
Absolutely. You know one of the things they cited when I got uh, taken off the air that I called somebody a retard? Oh, you're kidding. No. I could have said the F word, but I could not say, I could not call somebody a retard. Oh, wow. We're pretty sensitive, aren't the, we? The guy was a retard. <laughs> and by the way, one more thing before I let you go. Uh, you know, I watch Hockey Night in Canada, which runs on the satellite here every right. Saturday. And uh, during that broadcast on the CBC, they've got all these promos for shows we never see in the States. I, I, have you noticed this, the number of politically correct soap operas that are on in prime time in Canada? You know, like soap operas about indigenous families that live way up north somewhere. North of six. People, I mean, what is that all about? I have no idea. We, we stick to Rick Mercer. Have you seen any of him? Who is Rick Mercer? He does a political satire here in Canada. Oh, no, because, see, what happens is the satellite just chomps off CBC the minute the game is over. So, <laughs> so I see I see Don Cherry, and then they just cut me right out. Right, right. But I, but I see all those uh, promos for all those politically correct, sensitive soap operas that run in prime time. Oh, and trust me, here in Canada, we all think they're baloney. I, oh, I'm sure you do, and your tax money's paying for it, too. Oh, I know it is. It's all our shows, but they don't do anything that we want to watch. It's so gay and retarded. <laughs> you couldn't say that on the radio in Canada either. No, I don't know if you're going to air that, though. Well, we, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're almost half American, half Canadian. By the way, as oh, yeah, well, you know, that might be true. You know, um, as, as much as people are politically correct in Canada, when we did our one live broadcast from Vancouver. Yeah. Um, a 39-year-old uh, Canadian woman of, of uh, Thai descent um, who uh, was pregnant but also had had a 20-year-old son. She got up on stage and she was um, um, lactating all over the audience. <laughs> this was a Canadian? Yes. And her, husband, and her husband was there watching. Did she have her papers yet, or maybe uh, they were trying to claim asylum? I don't know. Well, her, son, her son was born there, and uh, so was the husband, and uh, they, the guys were holding up their, their beer their beer mugs there, and she was uh, filling them up. Well, I guess there's a, a website for everything nowadays. That's right. There you go. That's on, uh, you, you, know, you know that's on the web somewhere. You know it is. That's right. Yeah. All right, Steve, thank you for checking in from uh, Calgary. Hey, no problem. Keep up the good work, eh? Thank you. There goes Canada. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Look where these calls are coming from. Michael is calling from Beijing, China on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Michael. Hey, Tom, you're my morning show. I just woke up. Really? Now, uh, in China, do, do they have any limits on what you can do on the Internet? Like, I've, I'm amazed you're allowed to listen to this. Uh, well, uh, you're right. I mean, they do block a lot of stuff on the Internet. You know, I don't know if you've heard about what's going on in Tibet, but uh, they've blocked YouTube so that people can uh, send out their videos of all the happening over there. But uh, I can still get you on the Internet. Oh, really? Listen to that. It I guess they haven't figured out how to block you yet, and I I your podcast, too, and uh, take with me on my way to work. I I love that. Now, let me ask you this, Michael. Uh, What are you doing in China? Well, I uh, first started listening when I was in school in Los Angeles, and uh, I graduated last May uh, from a liberal arts school. I know you like to give liberal arts a heart. did the liberal arts thing, and uh, I've been working here last August doing uh, hotel development consulting. So are you from China originally? <laughs> no, I uh, I was born in New York and uh, got out of there as soon as I could. Went to school in Los Angeles. And I'm as uh, typical American as they can come. Do you do you like living in China? It it, it, it presents a lot of uh, individual challenges, but and the fact is, you know, I'm making great money over here. I can put put away. Twenty twenty five thousand dollars a year into investment and retirement, and uh, the girls over here have no idea what like us one hundred and one is. So <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun living by your rules. So you've been and running game. Great, absolutely. It's it's like they're like fish that have never seen uh, 
you know, bait and tackle before. They just keep chomping at it. Wow. Look at that. And, uh, Michael, uh, uh, do, do you speak Mandarin? Yeah, I and mean, that's, that's what I learned in, uh, in college. I, you know, I had fun in college, but, you know, I knew it was going to get out and had to make something of myself listening to you. So, uh, Mandarin, now I speak great. And uh, things are going well here. Now, how would you say dump that bitch in Chinese? <laughs> well, th there's, no, uh, there's no literal translation, of course. But uh, uh, I guess you might say something like, uh, <laughs> Love that. Very nice. <laughs> what would that mean, <laughs> literally? Uh, that would be, uh, that's... Uh, kind of like a word for a slut so uh you might so it would be it would be like uh take that slut and throw her in the trash <laughs> throw, throw her out do they have mandarin oranges over there i've always been curious uh, <laughs> uh just the regular oranges actually you'd be, you'd be shocked the they, 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 that, they uh, just call them oranges good. over there is that right <laughs> They just call them oranges, yeah. How's the Chinese food? How's the Chinese food? Gary wants to know. Have you had chicken well, feet well, yet? Uh, well, the, a lot of people do like to walk around with the chicken foot hanging out of their mouth. Uh, it is true. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, I, 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 myself. But, you know, a lot of times I joke around with my friends say, Hey, what, what do you want to do tonight for dinner? Hey, let's go out for Chinese, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and and finally uh what kind yeah. do they have charlie chan movies on tv what are they uh do they have any american movies well if you want to pay for it you can get satellite but uh tv here is pretty much appalling and and no one, uh, none of the locals actually really watch this stuff they're all watching you know prison break and alias and all these other american shows you know buy illegally uh you know, down the street. Look at that. And uh, are you going to be, uh, do you have an in on tickets to the Olympics? <laughs> no one no one has an in on the tickets on the Olympics. The only people that have tickets to the Olympics are the government officials that are greasing each other's palms. Uh, oh. Even and the, the, a lot of big companies here, uh, like, you know, McDonald's and the ones that are, you know, putting millions of dollars into sponsoring ass and even they're having a hard time getting getting tickets you know they're getting tickets to like arch uh, olympic basket basket weaving stuff like that you know it's, it's the whole system messed up wow and let me ask you this question uh, is could you do a show like this on the radio in china uh definitely definitely not uh, um here is, is pretty bleak i, I think if, when you come here uh, eventually uh, you'll be pretty appalled at the quality of radio here. But as far as you know... I'm pretty appalled at the quality of radio in Los Angeles. <laughs> well, that's why uh, 97.1 was the only one, a station I ever listened to. But, uh, you know, the, the views and opinions... Well, you know, obviously I subscribe to uh, uh, most of them. Uh, it definitely, it would it'd be a long time before a lot of people here can, can handle it. I mean, here we have so many radio stations. There's now a station called My FM. And there's literally one guy listening. He says, it's my FM. There's just one listener. <laughs> I believe it, because they, uh, they all left that station to listen to your show. <laughs> and, and finally, Michael, uh, free speech, what's that like in China? Because of the Internet, I'm being kind of irrelevant because I'm, I'm listening to you online. Internet, a lot of stuff uh, can get around in terms of people like that that couldn't happen before. Was, you know, when more of the media was, you know, controlled by the government, it was much easier to control ideas. But now with the Internet, everyone's blogging. You can get to CNN.com. You can get to NewYorkTimes.com from China. And although a lot of uh, websites with blogs will monitor content and will take out sensitive things, it's, it's really opening up a lot. I and mean, that with cell phones, too, people sending text messages around to tell, them, tell each other about what's happening in the country. You know, it's making a lot of changes here. Wow. Fantastic. This is fascinating stuff. Well, Michael, thank you so much for checking in from Beijing. What time is it? Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning, which means I should probably go to work, actually. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday morning in Beijing. There we go.
Yeah. Michael. Yeah. Blow, blow me up, blow me up. Don't blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is the number domestically. We're taking calls from around the world. If if you live outside the United States, call this number three two three five two zero sixty two eleven. More of your telephone calls coming up. Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas show. Tom Likas show from Hollywood, California. Call 800 tom That's our telephone number in the United States internationally. You can call us here at 323-520-6211. And now, checking in from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Franco. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. I love your show. Thank you. First of all, I would like to say that sometimes I have a lot of time to express myself. I just move in Beverly Hills. It's sitting so well. You you moved back to Montreal from Beverly Hills? No, no, no. I stay. I, I still living in Montreal, but I just moved to Beverly Hills. I bought a house there. Oh, and, I see. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm the one who improved the mixed martial arts rules, MMA and Canada. You know the UFC. Yeah. So uh, well, I just call you back uh, to say uh, I love your show, and I want to do. Uh, I want to uh, to talk to the bitch from uh, Vancouver. Or I don't know. Uh, she was uh, uh, Calgary. Sorry? Calgary. Calgary. So I want to know, uh, <laughs> do you have another Canadian who, uh, who speaks English? And I uh, have something to say about uh, Montreal or the French Canadian. Yeah. Well, I, you, uh, do you know Jacques Cartier? Uh, yes. Jacques Cartier is the one who discovered Canada. So that's why people love to speak French, you know? They are very proud like Americans, right? Well, yes, and not only that, but in Montreal, you can get smoked meat at Schwartz's, which is very uh, important. Exactly, and war of free. So, <laughs> it's legal. No, uh, by the way, it's Now, legal. this would be, now you see, you can never do this in Canada. I would love to take uh, the French Canadians up against the English Canadians and have them just go at each other every day. No, that would be my show, every no. day. That's funny because, you know, the last UFC match, you know, versus George St. Pierre, the best French Canadian mixed martial art. They always say that, uh, French Canadian doesn't have art, doesn't have, uh, sp- wider spirit. But, you know, if you see in UFC, we have six French Canadians who, uh, going uh, very well, doing very well. So I think the British Canadian, uh, will have to train more and, you know, uh, keep the good, uh, the work, you know. French Canadian, I think, uh, this are, uh, I mean, been first, you know, in Canada, so uh, we just need to respect each other, I think, and follow the history. Now, Dad, do you know, uh, do, do, do you know uh, hockey at all? You're a hockey fan? No, I don't know hockey at all. Oh, because there was a hockey player friend of mine named uh, Sean Avery, who plays for the New York Rangers, who uh, made some comment on French Canadians, said they had no guts. Yeah. I would like to know your... Uh, See, wouldn't your, that be a great show on the radio in Canada? You put some guy on to say French Canadians have no guts and all the French Canadians all call in and yell at him and threaten him. And That would be a great show. Yeah. What is your thought about uh, Canadian and America? What is your thought? What is the difference? Why we are so... Uh... Well, I, I happen to love Canada. I've been many, many times. I've been uh, to Montreal and Vancouver uh, more than once. I've Montreal many, many, many times. Vancouver three times. Uh, I like Canada a lot. Uh, I'm a big fan of hockey, and of course that uh, is a Canadian invention. Whether you're into it or not, there's a lot of Canadians who are like crazy about it. And but I mean, uh, why we are so close, we are so near. It's, it's not America, but here in America, uh, just moving the rails, like I said, it's so important to say American uh, Putin, American uh, French fries, you know. They always put the brand before uh, and, America, before uh, the brand, but in Canada... Well, in, ca- know, in Canada, Kraft makes Canadian singles. They don't call it American cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same stuff. I know, but, you know, it's like uh, always 
market and the name America, but I think it's North America. We should make uh, one country, Canada and United States. We have the same thing. Yeah, let, let's kick out Mexico. Who needs them, right? We'll just have Canada and the United States. You know, you know, North America is Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Yeah, and, but we and, don't and have in, the same culture than, than uh, of, Mex uh, of Mexicans. Well, so. you know, in South America, they do not accept the idea that there is North America and South America. There's just America, and we're all one continent, according to people in South America. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you don't take that seriously, do you? Yeah, I, I take it seriously. Come on, we didn't intend to include. Come on, Honduras, Chile, yeah. we didn't intend to include them. Come on. They're down there, and we're up here. I'm sorry? <laughs> I said they're down there, and we're up here. Chile, Honduras... Honduras is in Central America, of course, but uh, all these other countries, we just did not intend to include them in North America. Bottom line. Franco, thank you for checking in from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here. Ooh, now we have all these people from across the country. Ben in Chicago on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? All right, Ben. How are you doing? I just want to say that you keep you kept the station going here until they took you off. Once they took you off, two months later they went off. That was yes, yeah, see that was the end of the station. We were on in Chicago, and we were doing well, and then uh, they, they took you off for playing with some guy, bad blabbly, blah blah blah, all day. Right, and then they went to some music station, as if we do not have enough of those. Right. Well, we all have enough of those. Every city has enough of those. Yeah, practically every FM station you listen to. Right. Imagine I mean, that. I, I was glad I found you because if not for you, I'd be like all my buddies there. Instead of making cash, they're just speaking with their girlfriends all day long. And what about you, Ben? Do you have game? Yep. Every week. Different people. Every week, different people. How many are you putting the bricks to here? About seven or eight. Seven or eight on a regular basis? How do you do it, Ben? Switch them off, as you say, the bullpen. You, you, you got a bullpen, huh, Ben? Yeah. Very nice. Amazing. <laughs> well, Ben, uh... <laughs> I just saved my career by pressing the off button on the microphone. But uh, thank you very much for calling in. He's a player. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to, uh, is this Evo? Evo in Alberta, Canada. Where in Alberta are you, Evo? Grand Prairie, and thank you, Brother Tom. I'm here to help. Now, how did you find out about our show, Evo? I have been listening to you for years now, and I want to thank you, Tom, for something that you did. What was that? I was at the listener party in Cheers and Delta. It was the best party. Thank you, Tom. I normally don't go to shows like that, but yours was the top. <laughs> so you saw the lactating uh, listener. Yes, I did. <laughs> I wanted to bring my nephews over to see you and say, you got to listen to this guy. <laughs> I tell people at work, especially in your proper age group dem demographics, you got to listen to Tom. Tom, you must come back to our Canada. <laughs> well, I would love to, but the CRTC will have something to say about that. Anyways, Tom, I want you to do me a really big favor. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to stay on this planet for as long as possible, but when you leave, yeah. I want you to look up my father and teach him the like his 101, please. Okay, will he be in hell also? He will be at the poker table winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in other words, in hell, yes. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for him. There's a pitchfork with my name on it. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Avi is calling in from Queens, New York. Where in Queens are you, Avi? Um, hello, Tom. Hello, Avi. I'm in Regal Park. Regal Park, former home of ANS. 
Um, I found about, uh, out about your show, uh, you were actually on a station uh, here in, in New York. Uh, I think it was the summer of 2002. Yeah, I think there was a clerical error at CBS, and somehow the show accidentally ended up on the air. And when somebody realized what they'd done, they, they, they fixed the error. They were, quote-unquote, changing formats back then. Right. And they've kept changing formats since. Um, now, I remember there was one memorable moment you had. I think it was with an NYU professor. Yes. You had an amazing uh, phone. She called in all, you know, she was all uh, uh, very upset uh, about one of your uh, Likers 101 classes, and uh, you had a very memorable uh, argument uh, with her over the phone. And uh, I think there was even some, uh, you know, it ended up in the newspapers, uh, some of the local newspapers here. Is that, I didn't even know about that. Yeah. Yeah, that was, you know, I, I was listening every day on the radio, and then, uh, you know, you, you went off air here, but uh, a couple years later, you started streaming. And uh, I've, been, uh, I've been listening ever since. I work at home, so uh, I can turn on uh, the radio on the computer. I love it. Now, our show, what do you think? Do you think our show would work if it actually got a chance to be on the air in New York? What do you think? I think it would be whatever station would have you on would have amazing ratings. That's what I think. I'm surprised that uh, that you're not on the radio station. Well, uh, come on. How can you be surprised? 90-year-old Bob Grant just went back on the air. That's what they do in New York. They This is the same old, you know, Alta Cockers who've been on yeah, the radio I'm, forever. That's what they have. I'm, 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 look, I'm spreading. Uh, I'm doing my, my part. I'm spreading the word, uh, telling my friends. I have. Um, I, I, I didn't grow up in, in the United States. Um, I'm actually from Venezuela. Um, and um, so I have friends there. Um, I've been telling people in several countries around the world about you. So uh, I love that. Well, that they, 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 hopefully they're, they're listening. Hopefully they are. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm married, so I can't apply the Likus 101. But I have learned a lot from your show uh, when you talk about the other things like, uh, you know, investing your money, you know, working hard, and uh, you know, saving your money for the future for retirement. Uh, you know, and all, all sorts of things that uh, you can you can learn from your show. So uh, I, I appreciate all the work that you do. And uh, if you could take me out old, old school. Old oh, school. old, old school. Of course I can. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking to people from around the world who listen to our show on our online stream. Three two three five two zero sixty two eleven is the number. Three two three five two zero sixty two eleven. Let's say hello here to um, Michelle in Campbell River, Canada, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm so excited to talk to you. As well you should be, dear. <laughs> what can I do for you? I found out about your show from a guy I worked with, and I've been addicted to it ever since. I listen online every day. Now, where is Campbell River located? It's on uh, Vancouver Island. Ah, okay. Do you know where that is? Uh, I Approximately, I do. I've been to Vancouver a couple of times, so uh, yes. Yeah, it's... You have to take a ferry from Vancouver to get to Vancouver Island, which takes about it's about an hour and a half ferry ride. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, it's kind of like that Seattle thing uh, with all those islands off uh, off the coast there, and, uh, and then the ferries and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very very nice. Very rainy where you are. It can be, yeah, but we don't get much snow, which is nice. Well, I understand. <laughs> so, uh, did you ever hear our show on the radio when we were on in Vancouver? No. Can you believe it was actually on the radio for about six months? I can't believe it, actually, but I wish they would bring it back. We and they, we just talked to a guy who was at our live appearance. Oh, wow. In Delta, B.C. <laughs> Incredible. You're sorry you missed that. Yeah. How long ago was that? About three, four years ago. Uh, now, I've only been listening for about, uh, I guess it's been almost a year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, Michelle, thank you very much for that. Listen to all the places that checked in. China, Canada, unbelievable stuff. The Tom Likas Show.